the cow, a four-legged mammal that most often is bred to provide dairy and meat. But the humble bovine is now seen as a potential superhero in the battle against HIV and other dangerous viruses. Scientists from various institutions, including the Scripps Research Institute in La Jolla, California, recently made a stunning discovery about cows and their antibodies, proteins in blood that help fight off bacteria and viruses. Unlike humans, cows have antibodies that are four to five times longer than ours. So why does this matter? Well, stay with me. The research shows that the longer the antibody, the more effective it is at reaching the HIV protein in the body. Let me have a scientist explain this further. Dennis Burton is an expert in immunology and microbiology and took part in the HIV cow research. HIV is a particularly nasty virus because it's learned how to avoid being um, recognized, uh, being seen by antibodies. And it, and it does this because it has a very dense coating on the outside of sugars. This animation illustrates that wall of sugars, the bluish outside coating, that protect HIV proteins, which are the pink and green ribbons in the center. And what the antibody has to do is to figure ways to get in there, places like that. And that's not an easy task for a human antibody to uh, do. No. That's where the cow antibodies with freakishly long fingers come in. Von Smyder, also part of the research team, has been studying cow antibodies, or CDR3s, for eight years. But it was just two years ago when he and the team decided to take a scientific leap. Cows seem to make these long CDR3s. We know that it, it, or it appears that in, in antibodies against HIV that are broadly neutralizing, they have long CDR3, so let's immunize cows and see what happens. What happened was nothing short of astounding. Not only did the cows generate HIV antibodies in a matter of weeks, they also killed nearly every HIV strain they were exposed to. According to UN AIDS, nearly 37 million people worldwide were living with HIV AIDS by the end of 2016. So this potential breakthrough is very promising. But researchers emphasize there's a lot more work ahead before a vaccine could be ready. But that certainly doesn't take away from the contributions cows have made in the fight against HIV. Real superheroes for sure. May Lee, CGTN, Los Angeles.